everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to Talks with Yori. Welcome back YouTube, IGTV, all the social media platforms. My name is Yori Garrick. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. So God has me stuck for this season, I guess, for right now in Psalm 105. And if you know me personally, if you go to church with me especially, you know that it's almost every single time a prophet comes into the house of God that I get a prophetic word. Um, and so there are many words, and even before I came home to Jamaica, you know, since I became a Christian, I've gotten so many utterances from the Lord about purpose, you know, give me direction in different ways and different, different things, you know, connected to my journey. And many of them I have yet to see come to pass. And we're talking now, some some of these words have been in the process for years and i got received meaning i received these words several years ago and some of the things you might see little glimpses of it coming to pass and then some of the things it's just like a wagwan not not going right or so you know but um my pastor a few weeks ago he mentioned just in passing he mentioned the scripture which is found in psalm 105 verse 19 talking about joseph and god and the word of god says that until the word until the prophetic word of the lord concerning his brothers came to pass the word tried and tested him to refine and purify him you know to that effect that's what the word said and boy that really rang true to me because the word has been <laughs> testing me because it's 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 you know once you get a word from the lord you know the word of the lord um it gives you direction and the word of the lord points you so it gives you direction so it points you down a particular path and it, you know you get once you hear this word you get so on fire because you know for me anyway you know i get so on fire because the god of the universe is taking the time through someone to speak to me directly you know many times there was an instance when the prophets called me out by my first my middle and my last name and so without a doubt it was the word of god to me to yori alain garrick in that moment and so different things have happened and it's like okay so it put it sets you on fire it makes you it makes you feel important it makes you feel like god sees me you know and um the word that i mentioned when he when the prophet called me up by my for my, my full name you know i had just prayed to the lord i had i was like lord this is the situation in my life at this current time and i need i need direction i need to know what you're saying and it was probably the next weekend that that word came and has given me direction you know and guidance along a particular path but in the space of time because that word was now several years ago and, and not only that word but other words that have come you know the word of God has been spoken and has been declared and how many of us know that what God says must come to pass but in that space of time when it doesn't look your circumstance doesn't look anything like what the word of God declared over you that is when the doubt can come in and that is when you will begin to question whether or not what you heard was really from the Lord. But I want to encourage you as I encourage myself to hold on to the faith because if God said it, it must come to pass. It has to come to pass. And the word of God, you know, when in, in the scripture in Psalm 105, when it was recalling God's word to Israel and through to, to Abraham, God had promised that I'm going to make you into a mighty nation. I'm going to you know everywhere you see everywhere your feet trod it will be yours and you'll be you'll have you'll have um nations of people under you and you will be the father of the faith all of this that god spoke over abraham's life before abraham even had a child and in the same scripture it talks about this is what god said even over you know concerning the land of israel concerning the people of israel rather and it didn't look anything like what God had said. The circumstance, the current circumstance, was nothing like what God had declared over him, it, over Abraham's life. Abraham didn't have a son at the time when God spoke, and um, if, and if you know the story of Abraham, you know God declared that you know the promised child was coming, and you know he Abraham and his wife 
try to manipulate the, 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 the word of God, manipulate the thing to come, you know, trying to make it come to come to pass quicker than God had planned because apparently God was taking too long. And how many of us can relate to that? You know, we get a word from God, we get some direction from the Lord, we feel like we're, we're going in the right direction or, you know, we feel like we have some sense of what we should be doing. But you know we're waiting on god but he seems to be taking so long to bring the thing to pass so you just feel like okay let me help you let me do this and so in abraham and sarah's trying to help the lord they birth you know she of you know the story that she gave her servant to abraham and then they 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 came together and he you know his his servant her servant gave birth to ishmael and we don't want we don't want the ishmael we want the isaac because isaac is the child of promise and that is the child that god had promised to abraham and sarah if they had just waited you know and ultimately because god cannot go back on his word he cannot lie so ultimately the thing that god spoke came to pass but through the in in that interim in the space of time between the word was given and between the fulfillment of the promise the israelites went into slavery they, they experienced famine they they experienced drought they experienced lack they experienced everything contrary to them becoming this great and mighty nation before they, they they wandered in the wilderness you know this is this is these are the same people who had to go through the the, the red sea on you know god parted the red sea and they went through on dry ground these are the same people that god spoke the promise over and so and joseph you know if you if you watch the, there's a video that i did called dream again dream or dream on dream or something like that and I spoke about the story of Joseph and it's the same thing that I'm speaking about today. Joseph had this great word from the Lord. God gave him, he had favor with his father, the, the same father that gave him the coat of many colors. And he, you know, was a good, he, he had this dream from God that, you know, his brothers would bow down to him and he was going to be in authority over them, even though he was the youngest or he was, I think the second to last child for, um, for his father, Jacob. And so, um he had this great word from god and none of his circumstances looked like what the word declared over him over his life none of them looked like this thing is gonna come to pass everything looked contrary everything looked like god you duped me here all of the circumstances looked like it, it, nothing could have indicated that this thing would come to pass and but ultimately it did come to pass even though he was sold into slavery even though Potiphar's wife lied on, lied on him and he was imprisoned he was eventually you know when when he had because of the gift in him the gift to interpret dreams Pharaoh called for him and released him from prison and then he was he was given authority he was second in command in Egypt and then his brothers because they were experiencing drought had to come to him for supply and so ultimately the word of God concerning his life came to pass and so I'm encouraging you like I said as I'm encouraging myself that if God said that thing it will come to pass no matter what the circumstances look like no matter that it doesn't look like anything in your in your current circumstance looks like this is the thing if God said that you're going to be a steward of great wealth and you don't have two dimes to rub together to right now it will come to pass don't allow doubt to come in and I can understand and I can relate because it is just when when you look with our when we look with our natural eyes and we see our circumstances it it indicates to us that you should just throw in the towel and give up and try something else but look with the eyes of the spirit and believe with your heart you have to believe against all belief and God knows what is happening in our hearts and so when that doubt creeps in it's we have to be quick and vigilant over it to war over the word of God that he has spoken over us whatever he says must come to pass and so I declare that over you as I declare it over my life whatever God has said concerning you will come to pass it's not if it's not but it's not maybe it will come to pass because God cannot lie he says he says his word goes forth Isaiah 55 he said just as the rain goes forth to water the earth and doesn't come back so is his word that comes out of his mouth it will go forth and accomplish the thing for which it was sent so if God said it it will come to pass so you can put your pot on fire because God cannot lie he is faithful and he is trustworthy so believe him again today and have a great day love you bye